going to be covering the Shaq events that have entered the game. So first thing you want to do is to click into your picture of Shaq. In here, you'll see there's five different things that you can click on. Uh, the order I'm going to suggest is to start with your training missions. So that is the pink one right here. And then these kind of go together, kind of, sort of not. Um, training goals is kind of its own thing. And then Project Superstar is kind of similar to the... Um, comedy trio thing that we had. So we'll start with training missions. This is our typical pioneer trail thing where you'll do your training, you hit claim, and you'll get the various rewards. Um, these training gears are what help you level up your training rewards. These energy drinks are the things that help you with the comedy trio event. And the project super star chests are just chests that give you various rewards um, to help you unlock other things. So um, so this is step one. If you guys don't know, always make sure you click up here to get the bonus rewards. Those are all the rewards down here on the right side, and it will give you double rewards in here. So that's why you see the times two. The next section is the big offers. Um, the big offers is just various packs that you can buy to upgrade a hero. Uh, you'll see 150 shards here. You have some of his skills also. I will be making a separate video on Shaq that will come out later today. Um, it won't come out right now, it'll be later tonight, so probably like 12 or so hours from now. Um, the next thing is the boutique store. The boutique store is where you can come and spend your basketballs. In here you'll see there is a base skin chest. Uh, there are various base skins in here. Some of them are um, skill bases, so you have Storm Factory, Atlantis, uh, Rise Above are the three that I see. Storm Factory, I said. Off the top of my head, those ones all have the skills. Definitely pick those up if you don't have the skills yet. Otherwise, always good to get extra base skins if you don't have them yet. Uh, you do have this Pro HT chest in here, so you'll randomly get a legendary, sorry, gold um, heavy trooper chip. You have the shoe phone, which increases your dock space, garage, hangar, plus two for each level. You have a truly amazing, which is all unit. Um, HP and then you have let's dance and that's all unit attack uh, Down here. This is a lucky decor. So um, Something to think about here is you can get the slam dunk which is in another pack um, I will show you that shortly, but that is um, A chance to get that 19% so that should mean that one in five chests give you that um, But you will get the other various ones while you're after that uh, skill chests uh, a lot of people always underestimate the skill shard this is really good for the new heroes, so you don't have to necessarily buy the skills. You can upgrade at that. I, If I have leftovers, I almost always get those instead of other things. But being that there's decor in here, I would definitely get the decor before I get those skill chests. Um, so you do have the supply store over here, something to keep an eye on. Uh, usually they have extra things in here that give you great deals. So five shards for 99 cents, 12 shards for $5. Using these types of packs, you can upgrade Shack to level or five star very quickly, and then you can actually use them to perk a lot faster too because these are discounted deals for shards. Um, this is probably the only time I'd ever suggest buying shards if you're going to. So that is the boutique store. The last one is training goals. So what happens here is you just do your various tasks. Uh, we'll do the other two right here. So standard recruit and train army. So we'll come in here. Standard recruit, and it wants me to train five army units, so I'm going to have to delete some quick. So we'll just delete three to make this make sure this goes easy. Just so you guys can see. So now that these last two are done, the bottom one unlocks. And then this will pop up and it'll tell you the next time you can do one of these events. The last event is Project Superstar. So this works similar to the comedy trio. So you can either choose to do the skill training, which is an evenly dispersed five different prong thing, or you can do acquire knowledge, which you can see is skewed towards two or three different um, attributes. The attributes you're after are the ones down here. So these are the ones you want to upgrade the most. The other attributes won't really give you anything, but once you upgrade these attributes, so um, I need fitness is one of mine, so I'm going to upgrade a few spins. So right now I do have an event I could do. So you can hit this little arrow right here. Uh, I think you can hit the whole bar, but 
um, that just shows you where the arrow is and you can do the event. What happens though is once you do the event, this acquire knowledge wheel will change. So if you want to max out your fitness, you can continue to spin. Um, something I would highly suggest doing if you have a wheel like this and this is one of the attributes you're after. And then down here, as you also get your attributes, um, you can click the box, don't click the item because then it'll bring up the, um, like what the item's description is. But if you hit the boxes, off to the sides, you'll be able to collect the prizes as you unlock them. Um, what you're able to obtain from here, um, once you've unlocked all three of his different career choices, so I'm guessing a sports one, a fan one, and a comedy one, you will get his emoji to use throughout the game. So um, kind of something fun to get if you're after it. Uh, these rewards aren't necessarily the best, but they do give you basketballs, so they are useful in the way if you get them for free. Um, unless you're a whale, I wouldn't suggest buying them. Uh, definitely a lot better things to buy, like the um, shards and stuff in his store instead of trying to go after an emoji. So um, that's about all for this event. Um, oh, I did tell you I'd show you where the uh, slam dunk item is. So the slam dunk is a themed pack that you can find when you're in your base. So it's right up here. And then you can get the slam dunk, which is all unit ink damage increase 2.5% per level. So uh, with that, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And see ya.